Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's your girl, the Real True Divine Family here, and I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is, uh, they conspired. They conspired on you so much until their conspiring turned you into get, receiving buku of blessings. See, they conspired on you behind closed doors to get you to be stuck in the house, to get you to lose money, to get you to be cut off from the world, to get you looked at funny, to get you all this stuff. And everything that they did, all the conspiring they did against you, God still bless you. God still had a blessing for you. God said you are blessed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God said he is blessing you despite of your shortcomings and your downfalls. God say it's nothing, no good thing that he will withhold from you. So these people thought while they would isolate you, while they would get you gang stalked, while they would get this and that, try to get you to shut up, try to get you to be in the house, try to get people to look at you different, that that would cut you off. Baby, all it did was put you in a place to receive your blessings. All it did, because guess what? Now when you go out, you know how to protect yourself. Now now when you when you see things not going the way they usually go, you know how to put on a protection. You know what prayer to say. All these people did was push you towards your blessings. No matter how much conspiring they thought that they was going to do. It pushed you towards your blessings so that you could receive what God had for you. So your storehouse would run over. So your cup would run over. God says, these blessings that you are receiving is for you. You could give out the knowledge, but not the blessings. God said, continue. Continue to lead. Continue to guide. Continue to be who he has called you to be. The enemy and his little minions, they thought they had you. They thought they had lied so much on your name, assassinated your character so much. They didn't whisper. They didn't conspire. They didn't done all these things. They tried to stop your money. They stopped you, trying to stop you from getting a job. They tried to stop you from getting housing. They tried to get you arrested. All these things that they did, they did not harm or hurt you. All they made you do was put on your full armor and be in the right position where you could receive what God has for you. All the conspiring they did, all the, all the stuff that they tried to make you feel uncomfortable, God needed you to go through that so you could get in your right position to receive what God has for you. And now you're in the right position. You are receiving everything that he has for you. See, us as people, we have to learn that every storm does not come to break us. Some storms come to bless us. And this storm that you've been through right here, was a blessing. Whatever you've been going through the past 10 years, 7 years, 15 years, 16 years, 5 years, it's a blessing. You heard me? It was a blessing. All this was a blessing because guess what? Your finances is about to be way up. God has put you in a position for you to win. That's because of your obedience, because of your sacrifice, because of your worship, because of your praise. Because you did not give up. When you was in the fairy finest, you did not give up. You kept going. You kept pushing to where you needed to be. You refused to throw the tower in. You walked and you stumbled. You walked and you stumbled. But what you did not do, you did not give up and you did not give in. And God seen it. God seen what you was doing. He seen the fight in you. He knew you could do it. When everybody around you persecuted you, misjudged you, talked about you, looked down on you, felt like you wasn't qualified. The list goes on and on with these people felt. God knew you were the one. He knew you would get the job done and he knew you would be who he needed you to be. And a lot of folks didn't understand your coverings. They don't understand how protected you is because they don't understand who God is in you, to you. They don't understand how much you rely on him. They don't understand how much you're not going to make a move unless he say make a move. So these people who conspired, who did all this, they only conspired against God, baby. That's it. They conspired against God. And that's why God is taking care of them. And that's why he is blessing you. God's blessings is flowing up on you. You deserve it. Whoever this message is for, congratulations upon your blessing. Keep going. 
The sky has no limit, baby. Don't let now a naysayer. Don't let now a hater. Don't let now a family member. Don't let now a ex tell you anything that you doing, what you doing is wrong or that you changed and all the rest of that. Always do what's best for you. Always consider you. Do not put nobody else's feelings before your feelings. Love on you. Nurture on you. And guess what? Be true to you. It's your girl, the real true divine family. I hope this message helps who it needs to help and bless who it needs to bless. Please.